We've known for years that the mind and body can have a profound effect on each other, but we're still discovering new ways that this relationship works. We're now seeing how our nervous system makes adjustments in the body in response to stress. Listen in as Dr. Stephen Porges explains how our heart rate can act as a window into understanding our internal balance. The ability to observe heart rate patterns is literally a portal to uh, watching how our nervous system is regulating our bodies. And that when the pattern of heart rate is showing nice periodic oscillations, it's basically saying we're in a good state. It's reflecting a, a homeostatic system that is regulating well. When this system gets challenged, the neural feedback from the periphery, from our viscera, from our heart to our brain changes, and the portal, this vagal regulation of the heart reflects that, and it reflects it in a dampening of this uh, periodic component, which people often label as heart rate variability. So basically, I, I wanted to, in a sense, change the theme rather than people talking about correlates. Think of them more as a portal, the ability to measure how our nervous system is adjusting to various challenges and how our body is reflecting the, those adjustments. Isn't it fascinating to learn just how connected our nervous system and our minds are? By helping our patients increase their awareness of body sensations, including heart rate, they gain an important tool for monitoring their internal experience, which in turn allows them to intervene when they start to become stressed or overwhelmed. This becomes incredibly important for therapy because in the chaotic world of a trauma survivor, it is vital to regain control of your actions and emotions. Listen now as Dr. Porges reveals how a high-tech twist on music therapy creates changes in the brain that can steady the heart rate and relieve some of the stress and sensitivity associated with trauma. What I do is I computer alter vocal music. Now vocal music uh, especially female vocal music, uses intonation a lot without low frequencies. But if you comp computer alter it to emphasize the, the modulation of those frequencies more, you can, in a sense, uh, trigger that neural circuit more efficiently. And that's what we were doing. And the idea behind all this was that if you can get the brain to pick up the information of the prosody, the intonation, the feedback will increase the neural tone to the middle ear muscles to dampen background sounds, and that would link into the vagal regulation of the heart and calm people down. Using music to influence the brain-body connection is just one of the many groundbreaking new trauma treatments available to us today. That's why we developed the Trauma Therapy Training Program to bring you the newest, most effective methods of trauma treatment that are changing the face of trauma therapy and improving quality of life for thousands of patients.